Dr. David Lim, a dermatologist. This topic is on chemical peels and how it can be implemented if you suffer from acne. Essentially, there are two types of peels which can be really good for acne. The first and most common is something called a salicylic acid peel. So, when you are into peels, you'll know that generally speaking, there are two main types. You've got the AHAs, which include your alpha hydroxy acids, for example, glycolic, lactic, mandelic, citric acid. And then you've got the BHA peels or beta hydroxy acid peels. And the only member of this family is called a salicylic acid peel. Now a salicylic acid peel differs from alpha hydroxy acids because it is more lipophilic. In other words, it goes into your oil gland a lot deeper and it's absorbed by oil. Right? So what it does is that it can reduce oil production, but the true function is that it is a very powerful exfoliant. So that can de-roof blackheads, it can clear up congested skin, and can certainly decrease inflammatory acne. In other words, zits, pustules, and pimples. So generally speaking, we start at a concentration of around 10%, and dermatologists are very comfortable to go all the way up to 30%. Downtime following this peel ranges from about 12 hours all the way to two to three days for a higher concentration peel. The second type of peel is called a retinoic acid peel, and this contains very high strength retinoic acid, for example, tretinoin. It's approximately 100 to 150 times stronger than your over-the-counter retinol. So with this peel, you may peel for a period of two to four days. So, Chemical peels are excellent at treating blackhead type of acne together with papules, pustules, zits. However, they are not really indicated if you have cystic acne. For more information, talk to your dermatologist or your nurse at Kisses.